you know, when I was a security guard, you know, I, ca I still carry this even though it's long expired. Um, I'll bring it out and I'll show you. You know, it's a long time ago. Uh, I'll keep it a little bit distant if possible. Security industry license, you know, they didn't have, have to back then have the um, you know, the photo ID. It was way back in oh, I get this one. I had an A, B, and E class. Uh, 1996. That's a long time ago. You know, 2000. You know, six. And, you know. So anyway, that was a long time ago. I it was class one security operative. Yeah, all right. And you know, it was interesting. On the back here it says this license may be revoked for failure to comply strictly with the provisions and the acts under which. The license was issued or suspended by a police officer if circumstances warrant such action. The license must be produced on demand to a police officer. Change of name and address must be notified to the Commissioner of Police within seven days by attending your local police station and completing a change of details form. This license will be cancelled if the change of address is not notified within 28 days. So anyway, doing a security course, having a security license, you know, applying for that was interesting. It taught me about where I was at the time, New South Wales law, uh, the structures of law, da 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 da. The trainer and I went out that night, you know, for a few drinks, um, which was interesting. You know, I don't think he knew anyone when he was sent up from Sydney to do the, the training course. Um, it took something like, I think Friday, maybe Friday, Saturday, and a part of Sunday, or maybe it was Saturday and Sunday. Um, we had books and we had to do, you know, yes, no questions and fill in this, that, the other. Um, one time I did use the license, there was a, a fire going on. There was a fire in a building that I could see or smoke. So I jumped the fence. Um, I did call the police on my cell phone that I had back then, you know, in the early days of cell phones. And the um, fire people come up. Never guess what. Where the fire or the smoke was in this building was the fire brigade's training um, place they didn't put it out well enough um, the fire uh, or the smoke you know that they use when they go through with the breathing apparatus yeah it's a silly foolish me but anyway they, they went back there and they um, put their little fire out I didn't know that it was a training facility for them um, there was a number of other circumstances that I just don't remember right now that the security license was required um, the A, B, and E, I think it was. Did I say A, B, and E? Uh, a, B, and E. One of them was to be able to sell alarm equipment. I think that might have been E or something. And the other one was to be a bouncer. The other one was to hold a firearm. Um, now, to hold a firearm, I wasn't in the state of mind back then to hold a firearm and uh, you know firearms back then never had one so I just spoke to the police I said look I don't need a firearm don't you don't need to issue me out one if I apply for one because I didn't need one and I thought well for $14 an hour I think it was at the time or $12 an hour to be shot or be pla or place myself in harm's way just wasn't worth that per hour so anyway, that was the security license thing. Um, did I re-renew it? I can't remember if I had to do it every year, but I don't remember if I renewed it or not. 